All right, impromptu little vlog. Uh, I needed to get out of the house. I was going absolutely insane staying inside on such a beautiful day. Um, but I also kind of wanted to explain something. All the vlogs, the past two vlogs, this will make three, have been shot on my phone. And that's because my computer is dying very, very quickly. It's having a hard time run running my editing program. The internet has just like stopped working and it's not just the internet in my house. Like the computer doesn't want to connect to the internet for some reason. I've tried, trust me, I've tried. Um, so vlogs for the next, I don't know, few weeks maybe are gonna be primarily shot on this phone, which is okay because the quality on this camera is fantastic. So I, oh my god. So the topic of this vlog or today's adventure, shall we say, is going to be, um, we're gonna do some abandoned building exploring. So the place I'm at is, uh, it's in the woods, ugh, um, kind of behind my neighborhood and technically the neighborhood owns it. It's been plumbed out for more houses to go in. There's sewer drains around here somewhere. We used to come back here all the time um, in middle school and whatever. And we used to come back here and play airsoft. You can see we had little forts, little forts and stuff set. We had little, uh, this one's actually in there really well. It's been years since we've been back here, but we came back and built little, little forts and stuff all over here to play airsoft with. But now, they like kind of started to clear it out, sort of. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but there's this abandoned house up, up this trail that we lovingly refer to as the meth lab. Uh, and I'm gonna go see if it's still there. That up. When we came back here all the time, there were trails cut through here. I'm gonna see if I can try and kind of find them. There's, there's still game trails because they're, uh, there's deer all over the place out here. We'll probably find some tracks at some point. Um, so they'll cut little trails through, like see, right here, you can kind of see where something has been walking right down through here. I don't know if it's people or deer or what, because they're trying to avoid all of that garbage over there. So we'll see if we can find our way through. Improv 2 tree climbing. We're, we're quite a ways from the ground. I don't know if you can see here. I'll try to get a better angle. Quite, quite a ways up. Quite a ways up. That's the ground. Way down there. Here, I don't, I don't, no, I don't, have a, I don't know if I have anything to drop, but... Here, I found a twig. I'll drop the twig and see. Kind of, maybe it'll show how high up we are. Oh, it stopped. Everything I try and throw down is stopped. Anyway, I'd say that's a good, I don't know, probably 40 or so feet, but there's a picture of the mountains. The view of the mountains right now is amazing. I'm trying to get just a little bit higher so I can get a good picture. All right, this is about as high up as I think I can go. The tree is really starting to sway under my weight. Now, I'd say my best guess puts it at I don't know, we're, we're probably a solid, I don't know, maybe, maybe 40 feet off the ground. Maybe not quite that high. It's high. Sure, I mean, broken legs and pelvis if I were to fall, so we're going to avoid that. But, I can't flip my phone around while it's still recording. This is aggravating. The mountains that I want to get a picture of, so we're going to see now that we're up this high if we can get a shot. Well, we're back on solid ground. From all the way up there, we made it back. And the game trail keeps going this way towards the meth lab, so. All right, we've made it. This is this is the meth lab, and it's, it's fallen apart over the years. I mean, it was falling apart when we first found it, but uh, now it's really starting to fall apart. Um, the last time we were up here, um, somebody, I guess from, must have seen us coming in from the road or something. And they called the police and we had to deal with that. So I'm going to very carefully try and uh, come in. Normally we come into the window because it's easier. 
but I'm gonna come in through the uh, come into the garage in here, which is honestly probably the easier way to come. But let's do some exploring. Somebody has obviously been up here because there's brownie brittle, um, and that was not brought by me or any of the people that I've come up here with before. Oh yeah, look. Someone's come up here tagging. Uh, that, none of that, oh great, that didn't, none of this was us, so. This, this was all here the last time we were here, so. I'm not worried about that, but somebody else has been up here. And that doesn't surprise me, we heard about this place. Um, well, one, we could, we just, I mean, we, we kind of found it. But, um. We, we, we heard some stories when we were back in middle school of like high schoolers coming up here and like spending the night and freaking, and freaking out freshmen and stuff like that. So we thought we'd come check it out one day. And we found it. Sure enough, it, I mean, it wasn't hard to find. Um, it's right up here. But someone else has been here and they kicked, kicked some holes in the wall and stuff. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But I have a feeling that this house is not going to be here for much longer anyway. Um, so yeah, this is, this is kind of... This is kind of the spot. There's a ton of ton of graffiti and stuff in here, so it's kind of interesting. I'm just, I'm worried that someone is going to call the police again. I don't want to deal with that a second time. Well, I mean, the first time we may or may not have just run that direction and gotten away. Um, but I would I would hate to deal with it <laughs> again. I would hate to do that again because that was a pain in the ass. All right. Okay, so we got got some cool picks, and this time I'm gonna go out through this window because it is it is the easiest way to get in and out of this building. Yeah, see, that's much easier than like ducking and going to the garage and watching out for nails. The problem is, the road, the main road, is right there, and I think it's the people that live in that White House that called the cops last time. So we're just gonna kind of get moving on out of here at a briskish pace, as to not draw attention from anybody. I mean, not that I was doing really anything wrong, I just, I would rather not deal with There's a rock in my shoe. And it's been like this all January, but I cannot believe how blue the freaking sky is, man. At his bar, like, we got snow for like a couple of days when we had the big blizzard, but... Besides that, it's been like crystal clear skies with no clouds for a month. And it's just, it's, it's incredible. It, it's, it's, it blows my mind. I've never seen skies this blue in Georgia in the almost decade that I've lived here. I'm, I don't think I've ever seen skies quite this blue for, the, for, for this long. It's, it's incredible and I'm loving it, honestly. So you know, they've got all that, all that right there fenced off. So I'm guessing as long as I stay on this side of the fence, we're good, hopefully, theoretically. But this all used to just be this here all used to just be pat like almost like a, like just just like a trail. This wasn't like you couldn't get a car down this or anything because this is yes, sir. Oh, um, I'm just I was just trying to walk around the lake. What? I'm a photographer, I got my camera, I was gonna see if I could get some cool pictures or stuff. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get in the way or anything like that. We're not very happy about me being back there. The guy was being polite, but I could tell. Sewer main. Sewer main for all the houses, so I don't know. He said that they own past all this. I don't think that's true, but, you know. It's all good, they're doing their thing, I'll leave them alone. Uh, huh. Alright. Well. Made an interesting vlog, at least. We got yelled at by business owner, man. Ah, who the hell knows. Alright, I'll see you next week.